Hi guys. Man, welcome to hell. Am I in India or the shithole state of Texas here? It is Saturday, May the 7th. Good God, uh, we are under an extreme heat advisory being uh, told by the National Weather Service to uh, get inside an air-conditioned place as soon as possible. But, uh, of course, there is no air conditioning where the little dog and I are staying. So, uh, we'll see if this is going to be our last route, our last rant. So, anyway, guys, I think I've done pretty good. I really think I've done pretty good about all of these uh, bullshit pronouns and transgender with these uh, usually men calling themselves women uh, and I, I, I've done pretty damn good but at some point I have to uh, boil over a little bit and uh, Okay, let's just read this headline. Today's mainstream media. <clears throat> New Jersey woman who forced daughter she fathered into child porn sentenced to 25 years in prison. So we're going to have a redneck doomer with a fucking brain and a dick a dick and a brain uh, sit here and let's just before we get into the capital punishment end of this uh, I just have a little bit of fact checking for these limp dicked no dicked tucked dick uh, editors at Yahoo News, where is this from? This, uh, uh, I guess that's, I guess it's just a Yahoo News thing. Okay, read my lips. <clears throat> a woman, a woman, cannot father a child. Okay, can't happen. This is not. A debate. All right. Open and close fact. A fucking woman cannot father a child. Can't happen. It's never happened. Never will happen. Well, unless they just start cloning stem cells and get rid of guys all together. And as long as we're on here with this fucking bullshit pregnant people. Pregnant people. All right, one more time. The flip side of a woman cannot father a child. A man cannot get pregnant. Cannot happen. I think it might happen in seahorses, kind of. So unless you're a fucking seahorse and you got a dick, you ain't pregnant. Never will be. Thank God. But anyway, before I uh, break this down and get into the capital punishment end of this rant, as long as I'm on this, just to let you know uh, it, what this rant is not. This is not a anti-tranny rant. All right. Once again, if you are an adult, if you are over 18 years old and you want to tuck your dick in, uh, up your butt crack, if you want to cut your fucking dick off, uh, I don't know, if you got a fucking pussy and you want to hang a dildo off, a, a, go for it, dude or do debt or whatever the fuck you are nobody gives a fuck all right just go back in the fucking tranny closet we don't we don't care all right and i'm going to guess 
that 99.9% of trannies are as horrified by this story as anybody else. If there's a fucking tranny reading this story and feeling like the fucking scumbag man who fathered this little girl deserves any sort of lesser punishment, uh, which we'll get to uh, in a minute, uh, then, then you are a you're just a clueless fucking moron. It has nothing to do with it. If anything, this gives trannies a worse name than they already have. You better goddamn believe these fucking uh, you, you know Trump tarred rednecks are going to be using this as a, an example that uh, trannies. Uh, are, are more likely to be child molesters and child porno producers than, than anybody else. I am making no claim to that, but if I was a fucking tranny, I would be even more pissed off uh, about this headline than I am now. Okay? So if you are a consenting adult, Whatever you want to do with whatever is between your legs is your fucking business. All right? It's just that the rest of us, we don't want to fucking hear about it. It's of no interest. Do you really want to know where my dick has been uh, in, in, in the past 72 hours? Well, maybe some of you would like to know where Hambone's dick has been in, in the last 72 hours, but it's none of your fucking business where my dick has been. It's more where my dick is going. But anyway, this is not a rant about Hambone's dick. This is a rant, maybe something to do with this motherfucking man's dick. I'm just going to read... This is about the first third of this story because I don't have the stomach to read it a second time. New Jersey woman who forced daughter she fathered into child porn sentenced to 25 years in prison. A transgender woman was sentenced Friday to 25 years in prison for forcing the seven-year-old daughter she fathered to participate in child pornography. Marina Volz, age 32 of Franklin, I guess New Jersey, was sentenced along with three others by Superior Court Judge Peter Tober for their roles in running a child pornography production company in their Coburn Lane home in Franklin Township, also sentenced Friday, were Ashley Romero, formerly known as Adam Romero, Sean Allen, who really, uh, he has a dick and doesn't deny it, and I'm not making up this name, Dulcinea Neko. Dulcinea Neko. Now, I'm not going to get into what they were charged. So Dulcinea probably deserved the 25 years in prison for her very limited participation in this. But anyway, these other scumbags, uh, who wh whatever Marina Vols' real name is, and Adam Romero and Sean Allen, all three need to be strung up by their balls. They need to be strung up by their balls and taken out. We need more capital punishment on this planet, not less. This is two trannies who need to go along with this other fucking scumbag, at least who admits he has a goddamn dick. This is three swinging fucking dicks that need to be removed from the gene pool. Assistant Somerset County Prosecutor Brian Stack told the judge 
that the quartet was a, quote, vortex of darkness that snuffed out, close quote, the girl who was taken from her mother, meaning her female mother in Oregon to New Jersey to be in the child pornography. Quote, they are incapable of redemption, Stack said, adding that it was, quote, difficult to find the words, close quote, to describe the crime. They are bad people, he said. The four have not, quote, to this day accepted full responsibility and have blamed others, he said. Yes, but it's clear from the text messages and other evidence that they were all responsible, uh, he said. Uh, the girl has since been adopted by relatives and Volts has surrendered all parental rights. Yes, she will never see her child again. Yes. While not delving into the details of the crime, Tober said it involved neck collars, a cage in the basement, sex toys, and other devices. Said the judge, quote, if this was not heinous, cruel, and depraved, I don't know what is, close quote. The judge said the girl was taken across the country, quote, solely for the sexual gratification of others. And this goes on and on from there. Anyway, it, 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 it's time to cut the fucking bullshit with this tranny shit. Okay? If you have a fucking dick, you are a man. If you can father a child, you are a man. If you can get pregnant, you are a clueless bitch. Oh. It's just time to put this politically correct shit to rest. Okay, if you have a dick and you are a high school student, you play on the boys team. You go to the boys locker room. There is no room for a dick in a girls locker room because the owner of the dick claims that he is a girl. I, I, I could imagine if, if I had gone in, into the damn girls locker room uh, at Druid Hills High School in Atlanta, Georgia with my fucking dick flopping around in, in, in front of the girls in there. I would have been expelled, not, not uh, suspended, I would have been expelled correctly and possibly arrested for indecent exposure. Cut the shit. If you have a fucking dick, you're not a girl. You have no business uh, playing on a, a, a girl's sports team. It's unadulterated fucking horse shit. Let's get it clear for the fucking record. And all of this he, she, binary, gender. I, I, I'm, hearing, uh, I'm hearing some rumor that there are somewhere between 23 and 72 genders. There's two fucking genders. All right? You got a fucking dick or you got a fucking pussy. I guess there's some people who have neither or both. All right, so I guess I will go for dick, 
pussy, both or none. There are not 23 to 72 genders. There are an absolute, scientifically proven, biologically correct number of genders and for 99.99999% is one of two. All right, call yourself whatever you fucking want to, dude. You ain't fucking, you might be kidding yourself, you might be kidding these fucking little limp dick, no dick, tucked dick, uh, little fucking lefties, uh, that, that you're a fucking woman, or, or whatever, you ain't fooling anybody, you ain't fooling fucking me, you ain't fooling fucking Sancho Panza, okay? Cut your fucking dick off. Prove to us that, that, that you're a fucking woman, and you're still not a fucking woman. You're a clueless fucking dickless moron. It's what you are, dude. While I'm at it, there is absolutely no business in the public schools uh, from kindergarten to third grade talking about transgender issues or rights. It has no place in the fucking public schools. No place. And of course, capital punishment. Now, as I say, with the possible exception of Dulcinea, uh, who, who got the 25 years she deserved, she wasn't participating directly in it, but she knew it was going on. And she did not report these three swinging dicked motherfucking monsters to the cops. She did not. Dulcinea's crime was being a clueless fucking little bitch who did not grab this child and run like hell. For that, she deserves 25 years in prison. These other three men with dicks deserve to be hung up by their fucking dicks and taken out. What do you think, Sancho Panza? All right. That's all right. We have 33 comments from readers. <clears throat> okay, I haven't left. Uh, Hambun Little Tail has not left his comment. Uh, I'm just going to say uh, no comment necessary. All right. Here is Leroy. I cannot think of a comment I would leave for this that Yahoo would not delete. Capital punishment must be expanded. 24 thumbs up, zero thumbs down. We need more capital punishment on this planet, not less. 24 thumbs up. Alright, the next one is voting for life sentences. Uh, okay, here is Donald. A woman who forced daughter she fathered. Hmm. This is a headline that would have been viewed as nonsensical half a decade ago. I cannot help but wish someone would give us viable definitions of the terms mother, father, man, woman, he, and she. We have 22 thumbs up, one down. Here is Shane. A woman? Really? You mean a New Jersey man who forced his daughter he fathered into child porn who also suffers from gender dysphoria, sentenced to 25 years in prison. 
There, I fixed it for you. 34 thumbs up, one thumb down. Okay, DL, someday, this is just talking about humans. Some days there are just no words for the depravity and lack of compassion e exhibited by some, quote, humans. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Here is women cannot father children. 22 thumbs up, one thumbs down. Here is Wayne. What a joke this headline is. Enough with the pronoun foolishness. 31 thumbs up, one down. Hmm. All right. This is from Never Have Sex with an Angry Ex. Never Have Sex with an Angry Ex says, The headline messed me up. What this guy and his friends did make me sick. 18 thumbs up, one down. Here is Real Women Cannot father children. Here is, as has been the news all week, women give birth, not men. Hmm. How about, that is a man. Just stop. Cut the fucking shit. Okay, here is the man who fathered her has been arrested. Yep, yep, yep. Now here is someone, and I agree with this sentence. <clears throat> These pedos do not represent the LGBT plus community. And I agree with that statement. Okay, here is she fathered a daughter? No way, Jose. Here is she cannot father a child? Here is a woman cannot father a child? Just in case you did not know. Okay, and finally, the death sentence is too kind for depraved things like this. 25 years is a joke. They should all be wiped off the face of the earth and sent to hell where they belong. Then, some members of this community should get over themselves. I am absolutely amazed that Yahoo News left that in. They should all be wiped off the face of the earth and sent to hell where they belong. Give that one a thumbs up. Anyway, I just had to get that off my chest before that uh, little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles does his weekly hopium roundup. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> so anyway, I, I know you guys are wondering how I am doing with my new personals ad. Well, I've got two of them on the hook. Uh, one of them, she has a website, the name of her website, which you can go check out, I guess, is OptimisticAuthor.com. The Optimistic Author has, uh, <laughs> again, she's, she's gone and looked at Collapse Chronicles and says she likes it, and I, and I said, I, I can't believe that somebody with a website called OptimisticAuthor.com would have any interest in a uh, 
someone with a YouTube channel called uh, Collapse Chronicles, but she said we all need a little balance in our lives. So who knows, maybe optimistic author uh, and Hambone can work it out. But anyway, come over there to Collapse Chronicles for your weekly dose of hopium. Bye, guys. Now we got to do, no, there's another rant coming up. Sorry about that.